Come on. Okay. Well, folks, I'm sure you recognize two faces in that intro. Yeah. So, yeah and so. <laughs> two new ones. Well, one is un, un, unrememberable. You can forget him easy, you know. And we got, we got a new guy, LDG, in uh -huh. the show today. That's right. And, uh, yeah, uh, obviously, yes, it's a, it is Storm's Live, but Robert Storms is not here again tonight. Um, he will probably – but, uh, but uh, there's this cat hopping on my bed. Look at that. Uh, he'll <laughs> – we actually changed the name to Onzo Live, guys. Just so you know. Why do you, hold on, why is it yours? I'm the, I'm, I'm like uh, the, the uh, um, excuse me, uh, the Matt dragon Matt force. No, 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 Matt, Matt, Matt. I will finish so Don't even try. Okay, you get the shit out of here. Okay, and you in the matrix. You quiet down down there. I want to hear this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yes, everyone, welcome back to Storms Live, okay? Uh, joined by uh, Anzo, Mad Mardigan, and LDG. And uh, today we are going to be talking about the topic of Michael B. Jordan producing a Static Shock film. Okay, this news, bro this news broke today. Anzo, your thoughts? Um, hey, man, I'm down for it, you know? Michael B. Jordan mm -hmm. is a great actor. Um, pretty good producer, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I like some of the movies that he made, so I'm definitely down for it. And mm -hmm. we were talking backstage about if he's going to have a role in it. I actually believe he will have a role in it because that's a big name to add to a movie. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And yeah. we already know he played um, Johnny Blaze. So mm -hmm. he probably he probably has a little itchy finger to get back into superhero movies. So, yeah, there uh, you go. Yeah, I could definitely see him in a role, too. You mean Johnny Storm? That's what I said, no? Or did I say Blaze? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Storm, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about it? Um, well, no, I mean, I think it's a great idea, if I'm being honest, um, mm -hmm. because I remember watching the Static Shock cartoon uh, back in the day. It was actually something I used to watch with my little brother. It was something we watched religiously. Um and I remember uh, just uh, all the crossovers they had in the DC universe. Like, I didn't even know it was a DC character until we saw him, like, with Batman Beyond and the Justice League. And that was just amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if this movie can take off, and I have all, I have nothing but the utmost faith in Michael B. Jordan that he could pull this shit off, um, given, you know, everything else he's produced and his track record as an actor, I think he could easily pull something great out with this. I absolutely agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, unlike the everybody else, I wasn't giving event. I wasn't given events notice on what the topic would be. Uh, <laughs> you didn't but, ask. Cool. I didn't know. I didn't know. I needed to know. Yeah. So Michael B. Jordan is producing Static Shock. Mm -hmm. That's Supposedly. cool. What's a Static Stock Shock? <laughs> you don't know what Static Shock is. My God. You know, I don't even know what to say to you. Yeah, I do. How about, well, you could say do, do we have a phantom is. zone in this in, in this show? <laughs> My God, how do you, how do you, know you kidding me, son? You're, you visit the <laughs> phantom zone. I I lived there. I was made there. Yeah, I you were. Remember the quote. If I had the reins right. to the show, your ass would have been sent there right oh, away. Oh <laughs> yeah, you would have said, "What's a static click?" He didn't think this WB till he was only a man, and by then it was only blinding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what's the static shock? He's a DC character. It, it, it's not a yeah. what, it's a who. <laughs> who. Okay, what's a who? <laughs> LDG, oh what do you think about the. <laughs> all right, I, first of all, I, I am glad to see Static Shock getting represented like this. Um, absolutely. Uh, Static Shock was one of my favorite uh, cartoons uh, back in the day. Uh, got, good to see Static Shock getting some, uh, some, some film time. Uh, especially if his his own his own film. Uh, now, as far as Michael B. Jordan's concerned, I mean, it, it's he, he's not a newbie. 
I mean, he's he's been building up. He's been building up his resume. He, I mean, he's got so many credits and awards to his name. It's not even. I mean, it's not even funny. Um, I, I as far as like I said, as far as Kirksman getting Star Trek, I mean, that this looks like it could be a good deal. Um, yeah. as far as far as him taking care of it, looks like we got somebody who who might actually care about what he does, puts love into what he does. Yeah. Um, and and might end up being a great movie. Static Shock. Hell yeah, man stuff awesome I agree um, with that one. by the way you know i don't know if y'all know this but uh michael b jordan is producing this and now most movies he does produce he, he usually uh, has a role in yep that's true oh really yep, yep. oh yeah. uh, we uh, did, uh, we uh, without, without morris and and just uh, uh, just mercy yep. uh, wait wait are you telling me he was in creed <laughs> 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 I didn't see him in Black Panther. I don't know what the hell you're talking about now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just here to drop knowledge, man. As I come in, <laughs> drop that knowledge. Great knowledge, bro. Yeah, yeah just don't do? close. Just, just don't close your tab, okay? <laughs> yeah. What would we do without you? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if it was just you two, y'all would just be staring at the screen, being like, no. No. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's break the tension with a super chat. There you go. Matt Tertino says came with a $2 super chat. Thanks a lot for the support, Matt. Um, you think Static Shock will be in DCU or on his own? Uh, it's hard to say right now with everything mm -hmm. that they're doing with the DCU. Um, apparently, mm -hmm. like, I mean, they're going to be doing Flashpoint. So, like, who the hell knows what the fuck they're going to do with this? <laughs> like, in all honesty, mm -hmm. if it's going to be standalone or what. Like, apparently... Uh, Michael B. Jordan's producing this through his own company. Mm. So, his own company. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, who knows what the hell they're going to do with that? I I'm uh, thinking maybe a standalone because when you watch the DC fandom, they said they wanted to do more of those standalone movies, right? They yeah. wanted to have their Elseworld universe, and then they wanted to do those type of standalone movies. So I think Static Shock might be a standalone a movie but again we always have the flash so no matter what if they ever want to combine it into the universe they always can so <laughs> i agree i think we should have yeah. more of those standalones i'm, I'm tired of this i agree dcu mcu yeah. I, I i'm sick of it i mean it, it did nothing positive i mean oh well uh, oh. and, and oh, static oh, oh. shock is good it, well, mm. no, and here's the thing. Uh, LDG has a little bit of a point, and I'll tell you why, Anzo. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, the MCU, yes, we love the MCU. Mm -hmm. That being said, it's kind of killed cinema a little bit with well, everyone uh, trying to fucking copy them and failing miserably. I, I'll agree with that because Dark everybody Universe. wants gone from that. Dark Universe, Mike Drop. That was That's a bad it. idea. That was a bad That's idea. That's all I have to yeah. say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know everybody's trying to do a, a universe yeah. connected and stuff like that. I can understand <laughs> that. Like, they're even talking about connecting G.I. Joe and Transformers and shit. Well, like that guy. Yeah. Dude, they were yeah, talking. Yeah. Yes and no. Dude, a few years back, they were talking about combining um, Men in Black and 21 Jump Street. I wanted that oh, so mm -hmm. bad. <laughs> I mean, but, put it this way. I, I'll. I wouldn't mind seeing Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones with well, Danny Tatum and Jonah Hill. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I don't still, think they were going to be in it, but I think it was just be like, cause, well, because like they've ran through so many ideas in that that ending sequence. You know what I mean? They're like yeah. going to cook school, yeah. and I I think it would be the perfect place for them to go next is to to the Men in Black. It would be amazing. <laughs> but listen, this whole COVID thing it's not the first time they've messed with us. They took away. This is going to give me. They took away our 21 Jump Street Men in Black crossover because of the leaks. Don't forget it was the leaks. Oh, wait, no, that was North Korea. Never mind. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wait, was yeah. it? I can't I remember. Will, I, don't know. I will say this again. Listen, listen. Rob seems... has enough problems with Korea on this channel. All right. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> what I, that, that's what I'm going to say. The North. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I was like, you know, I'll say this again. Disclaimer. The views of Mad Mardigan do not reflect the views of oh. Storm's life. <laughs> they they barely represent the views of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, man, I'm excited for this. Let's do it. You know what I mean? It's just for me. It's like 
we're getting all these announcements, announcements for movies. Can we at least get the ones that are already done first? You know what I mean? Let's get yeah. those out. Let's get to see those. Yeah. And then we can talk about this because everything's it, getting pushed back now. It's like fuck. Right. So everything. we're talking all about the good some, ones got pushed back. It, right. So we're talking about at least three to five years away for this. I know, I know. And, and like everyone's like, oh my god, yeah, it's so exciting. But let's be honest, at this point, COVID keeps going the way it is. I won't see a static shock movie till I'm fucking 80. <laughs> for real. All right. Like, so are we still confirmed? And this is funny that you're bringing up Static Shock because we were just talking about, and I believe it was on Anzo's stream, um, about that the the one getting indefinitely, uh, indefinitely suspended. The one? Oh, um, um, the the, oh, the oh, one oh, uh, Black um, Adam. Black Adam. Um, Black Adam. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. So yeah. is this is this like maybe some kind of taking the well? No, it's it would be separate, right? Different producers. So I well, guess this it, is completely separate. It would be separate, but I understand what you're saying, right? Because now the DCEU put Black Adam indefinitely, but now we're announcing a uh, Static Shock yeah, movie. Yeah, Static Shock. Yeah. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson's yeah, gotta be weird. pissed at this point, guys. Like, I agree. He signed on for Black Adam seven fucking years ago, <laughs> and they haven't even started filming this damn thing yet. <laughs> He's waiting I, the wings like, do you need me yet? Fuck! <laughs> I just want to know why it's been put on indefinitely because it's even been taken off of the schedule completely and schedule. Bro. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be, I'd be pissed off if I found out it had something to do with uh, the rock. If, if he is somehow mm -hmm. the reason why it got delayed or indefinitely it might suspended, be. maybe he, um, maybe, he, you know, tweeted had issue something or, or said something said, or yeah. Or Maybe just the, said you took too damn long. <laughs> I'm freaking moving on. I got other things going on. <laughs> or maybe Marvel came in and scooped him up, you know? <laughs> uh, it's like, we're going to make the movie. It doesn't matter if you're going to make the movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, look, I, I have to say this because it's bugging me. The, the image you showed of static shock <laughs> reminded me immediately of uh, Darkwing Duck. I don't know oh, if God. that was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> how do you come up with this? Is this like? Are you talking about the scene where he's like in the background like right and there. the lightning bolt goes behind him? <laughs> I mean, come on! <laughs> in like, the beginning of the dark wing duck. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, not right even when gonna I lie. It. I'm not even gonna I, lie. I, oh my I, God! I see it. I do I see it. Bad. I can't unsee that now, and I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be the. Vo where the hell do you see that? What the hair? It's, is it the hair? The, the purple, the lightning. Like it, it just. It just I, hits me. It just hits me. I don't know. I, the only thing that's hitting me right now is the silver surfer. That's it. I mean, that's the only, that's the only thing I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it, it's as if like Dark Queen Duck. They drew him to be a human this time. And then he also stole the Silver Surfer's <laughs> surfboard, but then just made it round. He is riding the lightning. Like, that lightning isn't round like that, bro. Stop! Oh my god! <laughs> That's I, not I, how I, lightning works. I'm ruining my childhood. This guy needs the Phantom Zone so bad. This little boy ruining my childhood up in this bitch. Not cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I I can't take it back. I saw it, man. It was there. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's gonna start talking shit about Power Rangers. That's hilarious. Oh, you know I love. <laughs> don't don't give don't give him ideas, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, I love that one in the '90s, man. That was awesome, dude. Uh, with Ivan Ooze. I think I'm the only one in here that's like, please don't talk about Power Rangers. <laughs> no, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm talk <laughs> I am so with you. <laughs> like, please don't talk about. Power. I I I was getting pussy. When Power Rangers first aired, so you, you were getting social not... you were getting social security when Power Rangers came out. I, I was oh, still, I, I was still getting some boots. I was still hitting boots, so I wasn't watching no Power. Actually, Rangers. I, I I do have a 
confession that movie actually did get me some booty um specifically yeah. but that's it that's it that's as far as i'm gonna go with the power just uh, okay. I, I was literally six years old yeah i was not old enough show, when the show premiered i was six years old what oh the show okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those are what the, the movie, movie but yeah came out, i was eight yeah because well, the movie came out two years later yeah give or take yeah um i mean yeah no I touched my first boob in Waterboy. Oh, you were in Waterboy? No, I was watching it in the theater. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, he touches his first boob in that movie, so I'm guessing you touched your oh. first boob watching that movie. Like that 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 parallel. Yeah, there is a parallel. <laughs> yeah, so now we got on to touching. Are boobies. you hearing this? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you've been watching for a while, LDG, so you know how we can get up on this this one here, you know? Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Should have muted your mic before you did that one, bro. I was, I was too, too slow on the mute. Sorry. <laughs> Let's clip that one and send it to Auntie Tracker. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> no, not a good idea. What you looking at over there, Adam? Just shaking my head. <laughs> uh, no super chats going on. No, what's up, oh, chat? No, you guys are quiet today. Yeah, I'll start yeah. telling stories if y'all don't send in some oh, super chats. For the love go. of God, someone send something in. <laughs> yeah, let's not. I still have that cock in the grass one in my. Okay, now if someone please send someone in. <laughs> yeah, because he told us some of the details on that. I'm not really. Not uh, sure I'll, I'll super here. chat quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good that. story. Like there's <laughs> layers to it. You know, it it and it, it teaches a, 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 a like a really important lesson. Is it a hard story to tell? No, it wasn't my penis. <laughs> Yeah, I know what penis sure hard. It you didn't get it, right? oh, I got it. Oh, man. <laughs> Shame. It's like it wasn't your idea to watch Broke Back Mountain. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Not your penis. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For the record, the, the super chats don't have to be. Uh, what is it? Kill Mary. Mary fuck. Fuck kill. Mary kill. Fuck Mary Whatever kill it is. Here. Yeah. You could, I don't know, ask a legitimate question okay. or just talk about how much you love my content on my channel. Either one of these things is fine with me. Or how awesome my hoodie is. You know, like, just, you know, cool shit like that. No, well, it's not. Your hoodie. It's now not you're stretching it. I mean, we got we got cheap hoodie there. And we got a... There we go. Here we cheap, go. A cheap channel there, so... Matt 13 says, Kevin, five dollars Super Chat. Thanks for the support. Black Adam don't have a release date, but it's still going to happen. They just cast Black Adam's love interest two days ago. Yeah, no one's saying it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Talking. We're talking about how much it's been delayed, you know, and and for me, even though like we've seen all these other movies get delayed and stuff, but Black Adam is the only one that says indefinitely. So, mm -hmm. you know, even though I know indefinitely doesn't mean forever, mm -hmm. just means it's going to take a little bit longer to come out than it should. Just, you know, I, it I, just I, implies I, it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman is, too. They, they, haven't, they haven't officially announced it, but I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman's getting pushed back a bit. Oh, absolutely. No, oh, yeah, everything. I know whether they're releasing that shit on Christmas. They probably, absolutely. Ooh, they're bullshitting. Absolutely. Two months away, and Ain't things no haven't gotten better. Way. There's no way that's coming out. Sorry. Hell no. Mm -mm. I, I want it to, but it's, it's not gonna. Who did they cast I, as as his love interest? Black Adam. I don't know. Um, I'm actually gonna. Uh, you know what? I will look that up right now, and I'll pull her up. Every and I was I watching. Speak, okay. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was just gonna say I was watching Terrence's video, and I didn't really listen to like watch the video. I seen the thumbnail. I gotta watch it after. But supposedly, um, Wonder Woman's or Disney's, I guess, stockholders or whatever, are like really pushing them to put it out on streaming service. Yep. To put what so, out? Wonder Woman. Wait, dis? You said Disney? I meant like the Disney stockholders. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna... Disney. Sorry, I'm... Warner Brothers. Okay, Warner Brothers. Gonna... yeah, Warner Brothers. I'm, I'm gonna pull her up here, or like AT and T, right? Yeah, AT and T by yeah, Warner Brothers. Yeah, 
Wonderful. They're not AT and T's not fucking around with them. Yeah, I know. I love. I know. It. They're like, I no, know. put the Zack Snyder cut out. Yeah, no, do it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I won't see that shit. Uh, but okay. uh, this is this is the actress who has been cast as um, Black Adam's love interest, Isis. Oh, oh, that's okay. There's that hasn't right. aged well. What was she in before? Uh, I'm not even sure, honestly. I thought it was um, what's her name from Blade Trinity. I know she's been in other things. Jessica, uh, what's B- it wasn't yeah, Jessica yeah, Bill? yeah, yeah. I thought it was her at first, like when I glanced. Oh no, that's no, not her. But um, uh, see. Uh, she was in Bullet to the Head. Oh okay. Oh, uh, that's where I seen her from. Yeah, yeah. yeah she. Oh yeah, she was uh, Stolen's daughter in that. Mm, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. It's that they, familiar that they cast yeah. her two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bullet to the head. Mm-hmm. For person of interest. That's right. She was in person of in, person of interest. Awesome. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll. Uh, that's one of those lifetime movies where the chick tries to get away with murder. <laughs> that's one of those artificial intelligence knows everything about everything, hacks into everything, and they get a, a name of someone. Something bad's gonna happen to. So basically, the one same of those thing. Skynet. Yeah, wasn't one of those that, Skynet kind uh, of. Did, did, wasn't that show? Didn't that have uh, Jesus and Ben Linus in it? <laughs> yes, yes, it did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it did have Ben Linus in it. In Jesus or? And Jesus, yes, Jesus was in there. <laughs> How's he doing? That show totally starred Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Mel Gibson; he'll back me up on that. Okay, yeah. so Monster yes, Paradise came with a five dollars super chat. What Marvel character would you like to see in a solo film? Easy Gambit. Without oh. without question. You know oh. what? I kind of got to agree. <laughs> I mean, no, I can't. Not Gambit. I mean, I'm Gambit has a rich enough backstory. If you can even get Rogue in there, he has a rich enough backstory to actually warrant a solo film. Yeah. I, I, I think on Anzo's show, um, I even broke down like how I would like to see a Gambit movie. About uh, him uh, and the Marauders going to uh, take out the um, the thieves and the assassins, Grossos, the Grossos in the sewer, the Warlocks. Oh, oh, oh the Warlocks! 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's been a while. I had it written down. Anyway, but yeah, dude, I think that movie would be great. Um, I watched the short film. Oh, I got halfway through it. Well, maybe fifteen minutes. In. I don't know. Ten. Um, I don't know who sent it to me. It was like a fan made gambit. Movie? Yeah, Danny probably sent it to you. Oh boy, mm. like, you didn't like it, man. That acting was kind of tough to get through. Oh yeah, he, he swears not, by it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I thought Ch- I'm, I'm glad the Channing Tatum one got canceled. Why? Oh, yeah, me too. I, Why? I do not, th- dude. He is not a good choice for Gambit at all. No, I'm I don't sorry. think so either. I thought this too. I until- like Channing Tatum, but like, I dude, I I can't. It depends on the movie. He's very one note, and even he has admitted he's very one note. Okay, did you see okay. uh, Foxfire, Firefox, Catch a fact, Fire Fox? Maybe you should Google the name of the Fox movie. Catcher? Fox, Fox Catcher? Fox Catcher? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I've seen, yes, I've seen that. He's very I good. He was good. Yeah, he's very good, so, uh, but but I'm sorry, as Gambit, I just don't see him in that. Hold on, hear me out. Actually, so, I got one better than Gambit. I well, hold on. I I I, w- I would agree with you, but uh, in Hateful Eight, right when Ch- Ch- Channing Tatum is in there and he's talking to this lady and he starts doing this Cajun accent while he's speaking to her, and I'm like, oh, listen to this guy. He wants this movie made. I don't remember that part. It happened. And Dude, I, I remember him having it. an accent. I remember a more southern accent, but not like no, no, no. Asian. Yeah, he put up no, no, like not the whole time. Like there was a specific point where like he put on a Cajun accent talking about um when he started speaking French. I I okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I'll, I'll, I'll find I'll, it. I'll, 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 no, no, yeah, I'll take your word for it. Uh, I'll look mm-hmm. it up later. But you you're never gonna think of it again. Probably not. <laughs> but- <laughs> LDG, have you had one? I, I got a, I got a great one, and not only is it unique, not only is it a popular character, but the first movie or the first trilogy or whatever the hell, whatever, however it was going to be, uh, can take place in an alternate timeline 
by design. Like by design. That that's his origin story. Cable. Okay. Cable from his alternate timeline before he traveled back in the past. You can have so much fun with that. And it doesn't yeah, matter if you screw it can. up. Uh-huh. No, you I can. agree with you there. Yeah, because excellent I, I, character, great powers. You have everything there. Cable is awesome. And I, you, and, I like that. And you can bring Sinister into that too as well and shit, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be pretty good. Um, because one of my choices would have been Bishop. Bishop? Yeah, I yeah. would like good. to see a Bishop movie. Bishop's you know? good. So. I swear to God, Mr. Sinister needs to be a fucking villain soon. I know. I know. <laughs> no to, you have teased him too many fucking times to me. You and he has to be done to right, me. man. He has to be done right. He has it, to it, have it, the it, Mr. Sinister look. Bro. Dude, here's the thing. When uh, First Class was announced, and they announced that Kevin Bacon was the villain, they didn't say who he was playing. They just announced he was going to play the villain. All mm -hmm. I'm thinking is, oh, my God, Kevin... He's going to be sinister. That's it. He's going to be mm -hmm. fucking sinister. He's going to own that shit. Sebastian Man, Shaw, what the good. fuck? Mm -hmm. Would have been too no. good. But I liked no. him as Sebastian Shaw, though. He I, was good as Sebastian Shaw, but I like, really honestly, like him as Sebastian he, he was my dream cast for sinister. Okay, I know. I could see that. But for me, I was like, I think he was one of the best things in that movie as Sebastian Shaw, you know? True. So. Um, it, um, oh, God. There was another actor who was trying to be... Sinister. Oh, shit, the guys who actually just reminded me. Brian Cranston said he wanted to be Sinister. Oh, yeah? A while back, yeah. Mm. He was asked if he could be anyone like from the Marvel Universe or whatever. Yeah, he said Mr. Sinister. He he wanted to be a villain. Uh, again, I want Sinister to be like the Sinister in the comics, so I don't mind if they do the CGI like they did with Thanos. Oh, yeah. And give him a nice voice, you know? But yeah, that's what I want to see. They could do so much you, with you, him, you, man. You realize Thanos was motion capture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like it was still him, like acting. You no, know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you know. I know. Yeah, okay. no, no, I know, I know motion yeah. capture, but it's still CGI though. True. Yeah, you know, CGI on top of the motion capture, but that's what I mean. I, I get it. Um, I would be good with that. I would be good to see that. I, I definitely mm -hmm. want to see that. You know, mm -hmm. you can do the storyline where they actually kidnaps Jean Grey and Scott and, you know, they could do so much with Mr. Sinister. It's unbelievable. I mean, listen, you don't gotta go through the whole Madeline Pryor thing, because that shit just got convoluted as fuck. Mm -hmm. All right, But, I mean, yeah, do something there. Yeah, I agree. Jean, Jean and um, Scott have a massive history with Sinister, mm -hmm. as does Professor X. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I mean, that's a great villain to have, and if the MCU wants to impress me, Fucking do sinister, you bastards! Mm -hmm. And the thing is, they they always like you know when Marvel gets a property and they do the movies, they don't want to rehash the villains. They so don't. who who's better to use right now? Sinister. My my look, they're gonna get Mojo in there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like you fucker, <laughs> really? <laughs> By the way, Quicksilver would be awesome too. Not. Hear me out. Mm. Not the Quicksilver from the Fox universe, but actually from the MCU. And I'll, here's why. I I agree <laughs> that the one in Fox is way uh, uh, better. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to say this. I I didn't see that coming. Thank you. <laughs> I, had I, say, you I, had <laughs> I bet you, you did not see this coming. coming. Sorry. Um. Anyway, it's because he's too overpowered. That's why they always have to limit him to like one or two scenes because he can solve so much because of how fast he goes. Oh. Yeah. In the it's MCU, funny. though. Yeah, this is why they injured him in Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Exactly. In the MCU. <laughs> yeah. In, in MCU, he was still, I don't know, quick as lightning, but um, he wasn't so overpowered to where he could solve any issue, any problem. Mm -hmm. So. And I even liked what's his name. Uh, I didn't, I guess didn't think he had enough time to really develop. I can agree with that. You know, I liked his look a lot better in Marvel than I did in yes um, Fox. But at, at the same time, the Fox character was done a lot better. Mm. Yes. Uh, yeah. You know, I think to me, I think Marvel again did their. Oh, you're gonna put Quicksilver in your movie. 
well, guess what? We're going to put Quicksilver in our movie. We're just going to kill him as well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay, so we got this super chat in for Matt 1306. Marvel casted America Chavez and people are pissed. Um, mm -hmm. Matt, I'm not really seeing anything about that. Um, I know that they that apparently they want to cast um, the character for uh, Doctor Strange 2. But I'm not seeing anything about anything official. Yes, they did today. Uh, earlier oh, today, uh, I don't know some 14 year old. Um, 14 year old? Yeah, l young lady. And um, people are griping on uh, Twitter because she, although she is Latina, she is not dark enough. Oh my lord! Um, she has me. the wrong skin tone. Oh, oh hold on. Uh, yeah, me. I just um, yeah, no. I just got her. I just got her name. I'm gonna pull up uh, an image of her. So we can uh, see this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know who that. All right, I know who that is. You know who she is? Uh, yeah. One second. Right. Um, it's. I, I want to say, are you pulling up the photo on the, yeah. on the stream? Okay, yeah. I got to see this. That's who they oh. cast. Yep. And that's not dark enough. Nope. Apparently and not. She's. She's supposed to be Latino, like the character. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we can obviously tell she got something in her. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, isn't this something a tanning bed can solve? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to sound weird. I'm just thinking no, here. I'm, you're right. No, I'm, you're right. I mean, she got some color. Yeah, like, of course, yeah. she's fine. Yeah, I mean, not to mention that uh, I mean, she's darker I'm, than me, and I'm not. You know, I got color to me. I mean, <laughs> America Chavez is an alien. So. Yeah, uh, it's, it, no, it's like all those people saying that fucking Goku's got to be Asian. He's a fucking alien. Yeah, I don't care. As long as he's not in fucking high school. That's the only thing I care about. Man. <laughs> Get him out of high school. Yeah. He's got Dragon Ball Evolution. Shit. It's okay. You know, I never it, LBG that I, movie can't hurt us anymore. Dude, I don't it does. It, it haunts it my fucking dreams. It okay. I it can't hurt us anymore. Just please. I, remember your therapy. I never I never thought a movie would beat Street Fighter as the worst movie alive in Dragon Ball went and did it. Hey, hey, Street Fighter is awesome as we established last night. Oh no. Oh no. What is the great no. movie? I, no, sorry, no, I guess no, you in. guys said it was a <laughs> great movie. Game over. <laughs> I'm going to get to my boat. I'm going to go up river and I'm going to kick that son of a bitch by uh -oh. his ass so bad. The next is, is he broke or is it just me? It. Okay. <laughs> it may just be you, oh, there bro. We go. Okay. Wait, well, he froze for a second. <laughs> oh, someone froze? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It might, it might be on my end. StreamYard does that where it like lies to us yeah. and tell somebody else is frozen when everybody's fine and i'm mm -hmm. and i'm just interrupting so i'm just gonna shut up i'm sorry <laughs> no i agree <laughs> but actually, yeah, boom. hold on this is actually really funny i gotta acknowledge it okay shifty gas just said street fighter is a great gi joe movie yeah basically actually yeah you're not <laughs> yeah, wrong that's, um... at all <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> I, I knew it. once, once, once you seen that cast of Jean Claude Van Damme as yeah, Guile on you knew. board. What do you think? It, what do you think of these? What the hell were they thinking? <laughs> on board. I don't know. I mean, what's his name? Jean Claude oh. Van Damme wasn't bad as Guile. It's just once they did that, you knew that's where the story was going to be around. I would also like to point out that that movie was written and directed <laughs> by the screenwriter of Die Hard. Really? Oh I yeah, that's wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> <Ages out D'Souza. laughs> Yeah. And um they they said before they were like, no, we're not gonna have any like video game references in it, you know. And then there's but there's like barrels with yeah, Capcom on it and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know how this works, guy. <laughs> and they made Ken and Ryu at the end, like <laughs> Ken and Ryu were goons. I'm sorry. Like Get a Ryu okay, or not so stupid. Hmm? Look, I yeah, thought but... you said this wouldn't haunt me anymore. I thought we were moving on. And I don't <laughs> want to talk about that and movie. We'll, and what pissed me <laughs> off in the movie, they call him Ryu. His fucking name is Ryu. Yeah. Ryu. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, 
Saigat, Saigat, was that? No, not. No, oh, wait. Saigat was horrible. The big too. Russian guy that was like, quick, Zangief. change the channel. Dude, Zangief, Zangief was fucking funny. At, at least he was half funny. entertaining. I mean, you I mean. Got, you got paid? <laughs> and when they fought, um, like when they were fighting on the, um, like the model, uh, like uh, town yeah, or city Godzilla. or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. the oh. Godzilla scene. There yeah. were some great moments. <laughs> no. It also <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 the no. greatest moment in that movie was the credits when I can get the hell out. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was the best part of that no, movie. No, no. Yeah. The best part of that movie was Raul Julia because Raul Julia kicks God in the nutsack. <laughs> yeah. okay. he, he was good in that. Raul Julia is a badass oh, motherfucker. All right? his, yeah. his, right. his, 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 it's, yeah. it was a Tuesday yeah. for me speech, <laughs> which is so great <laughs> and wasted. <laughs> Of course. Well, if, yeah. if I remember correctly, it was the only movie, and I, maybe my brain cells are mixing signals right now, but he was dead when I went to see the movie. That's how quickly he died, right? He passed away like <laughs> when it was at yeah. theaters. Um, yeah, he was dying on, like, he already, like, the cancer was really bad on there. It was the last movie. He okay. Did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Man, at least, at least uh, Heath Ledger, I already saw Joker by the time he passed, if I remember correctly. No, he died. Um, he no, he died day. before. He, he died, oh, he died before months. too. He died yeah. six months before the movie premiered. Oh, okay, all right, never mind. So this, yeah, but that was the first one. Yeah, yeah, that was way, really freaky. That was the one freaky thing about going to see Street Fighter. Uh-huh. Uh, Poe came in the Don Island super chat. Super Mario Brothers is worse. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh God, I was I was trying not to bring that movie up <laughs> because know, what what he said still, earlier. Okay, listen, I want it known in this movie. We have two Italian plumbers played by a British guy and a Latino. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll let you know when I hear something crazy. Cross between Donald Trump <laughs> and Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> On board so far. Keep going. I'll let you know when it gets weird. <laughs> that movie has and, it and, is and, weird. Instead of the Mushroom Kingdom, we get Dino Hatton. All right. <laughs> God. And Stop. apparently, it's Stop. a parallel Earth that was caused by the meteor and hit Earth. I don't know Sounds how scientific. this happened. It does not explain how this happened. It just kind of did. Not and... a scientist. So, sounds good. <laughs> First off, how the hell you still remember this? Oh, I remember. No. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I want it known. The very oldest movie, I watched that movie all the time as a kid. As uh... a kid, I watched that movie all the time. <laughs> I have a lot of great memories of it, but I acknowledge it's not a good movie. Oh, no, look. I, I acknowledge it's a bad fucking movie. That was a one and done for me. No, when I was a kid, like the two movies I would play just over and over again was uh, Lone Wolf McQuaid with Chuck Norris. Uh, it, it is a fantastic movie. It holds up to this day, I, I promise you, right? Lone Wolf mm-hmm. McQuaid with Chuck Norris. It's I know what you're thinking. Oh, Chuck Norris is different because in this one, he plays a Texas Ranger, right? And he has oh, to. Really? Like, yeah, it's really? way different than, no, it's yeah. so different than anything it's ever done. <laughs> way different. Wouldn't believe it. Uh, I, I, I mean, Temple of Doom. I can't see that. Oh, yeah, Temple, Temple of Doom of was Doom. the other one. Like mm-hmm. those two, man. Rotation. I used to chase my sister around the house, going, "I don't sit down. I don't sit down." Well, he, someone he, had to like Temple of Doom. He don't like Temple of Doom over are. here. He don't like, like Temple what? of Doom. Temple of Doom over Doom. here. Really? What? Why? I'm gonna be honest. I've never liked Temple of Doom. Wow. I wish. Hush, <laughs> Mr. Hush for Mr. Mario Brothers. What part of Temple of Doom did you not like? Pretty much what, all what, of what, it. What, what, what was the what was uh, the was Willy and Short Round the, the catalyst? Annoying, um, Willie and Short Round are the most annoying motherfuckers on the planet. Willie, I, I wanted to strangle this bitch every time she opened her mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay. No argument here. And, and yeah. Um, so you had so systemic you issues, but bitch. there wasn't anything in the actual I'm movie sorry. that. No, no, it's 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 not even that. Like they were just annoying. I didn't care much for the story okay. at all. It, it like the only thing I remember about that. There are two things I remember that about that movie: Kalima and you betrayed Sheba. That was it. That's all I remember about that movie. Except for the things I don't want to remember. I anything think it's goes. The best one. Yeah, I mean, anything I think it, goes. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I liked it. I mean, it needs to be sleeping with the director, doesn't it? <laughs> Apparently, when you're oh, a pediatric, yeah, that's proven and proven again way too many times. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, 
Um, <laughs> but Matt Tertino says came with a $10 super chat. Appreciate all the support tonight, man. Um, DC MVP. got a solid marble now. It's called Future State. Bruce is dead. Luke Fox is the new Batman. Okay. Wonder Woman is immortal. There is a Brazilian Wonder Woman now. What the fuck? So there's two Wonder Women? Yeah, apparently. What? Um, Superman left Earth, and it's n- and now it's World War Hulk style. Look it up. No. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Like I am legitimately scared by everything he just said. <laughs> I don't understand any of it. I-, I-, I didn't either. That's why I'm scared. <laughs> The only reason oh my I'm, god, he's not joking. <laughs> the only reason I know who Luke Fox is is because of uh, Mauler and them efapping Batwoman. I gotta That's read the this. The only reason I know who Luke Fox is. Oh my god, he is not joking. Oh, wow. There are two Wonder Women, and one is Brazilian. I wow. like that one. Hey, Superman. Man. I don't even want to I don't even want to talk about Superman. That there's three supermen. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. Them Brazilian women. Wait, hold on. <laughs> is, one, is one of I'm, those supermen seven foot two and horrible at free throws? <laughs> oh, could be. I uh, think so. <laughs> could be. Wow, it took y'all way too long to catch on to that. No, no, I got it immediately. Oh, <laughs> I, I okay. Was, and, yeah. and and Adam's not even a sports guy, and he got everything. Yeah. But I was gonna say there was two Supermen that had bad free throw what shooting. So mean? Dwight Howard, remember he was a free Superman too. By the way, still wow. not that bad of a movie. I, I, oh God, no! What? <laughs> what Steel. I'm looking at Steel. Steel was gar- was ass garbage. What the fuck? You <laughs> no, you don't remember when he had the grenade and he made it. <laughs> no, I, I try the to grenade? forget. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, no. I try, I try, I try to, I try to forget out. everything about that horrible movie. I was I a don't... kid when that movie came out. My grandmother took me to the theater to see that movie. I seen it in theater too, and I never wanted to watch it again. <laughs> I seen it too, and I was the kid who watched the Super Mario Brothers movie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the time. Yeah, it wasn't as good as Super Mario Brothers. I'll give you that. Not even close. Oh. <laughs> I would definitely pick up that. Okay, Brazilian Wonder Woman. I'm down. Right. Now let's now let's get a Brazilian Wonder Woman in the theaters. Oh yes, boy! You got a J JLo type of woman that's a Wonder Woman. Wait, J Lo's from the I block. J Lo type. Brazilian women have the same. I don't type think she's of, Br- Brazilian. I know. I'm saying Brazilian women have the same type of body as J Lo. Mm. That's what. You, that's my do point. You know what Brazil is? Yes, I do. Do you, do you think it's like a block in Brooklyn? No, I do know what Brazil is. <laughs> and and then, with with J Lo from the block. Oh, haha, nice try. Went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> What it, were you saying, Adam? I feel like it hey, was. Don't be fooled by the rocks that she's got. <laughs> like, if you exactly go fire, Brazilian women are hot. Damn right. Damn right. And um, I haven't made. I haven't met a sane one yet. Whoa. Okay. Try, go, try going to Boston. The views <laughs> of oh, Boston do not reflect the views of me. <laughs> I'm just saying, like I, I've I've dated a couple in their cuckoo bananas. Like same with Chilean uh ladies from uh oh. Chile. Chile. It's, it's, it's just you Chilean. can't ha- you just can't handle a real woman. I get it. So no, it's they're yeah. they're no they're crazy. No, they're crazy. Exactly. You can't handle redheads. Yeah, exactly. That's you because know? they have mm, let's they do you not. don't have to bring up yeah. hair nipples. <laughs> I mean, hey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you know what? All right, I'll, I'll 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 back up a little bit on that. Um, all women in general. You better find bananas. him zone him before he says what he's going to say. Uh, the views expressed by Mad Morgan are uh, not shared with me or anybody else on this panel. 
<laughs> no, they share it with him, just not anybody else on the panel. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> what, talking about how crazy women are? I mean, where do I begin? How about the chick that drove from Texas to Florida wearing a diaper to go kill her <laughs> husband? And she was a goddamn astronaut. I guess your makeup department isn't home right now, eh? Yes, he is. <laughs> I see my phone lighting up underneath. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> what the fuck did you just so say? I'm just going to do this real quick. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, that's funny. Brazilian women have some yeah, better bodies I mean, than Taylor. I mean, yes, Shifty. You're right. You're right. I mean, I mean, I mean in, in all fairness, um, I love my girl. She's got that Irish temper, but she's Northern Irish, so we don't fight. She just, you know, puts a bomb in my car. And <laughs> our calls her family. <laughs> calls her family. Dad, I got something for him. <laughs> no, no, no. Apologies. Okay. Had a pixel pixel issue real quick. Sorry. I had to take care. No worries. Did I miss anything? Nope. Well, yeah, Matt had to disappear because. Oh, no, I'm back. Oh, and I'm in the clear <laughs> there, Anzo. She wasn't mad at me. I don't know if you heard the slam, the door swing open, but she's mad at you. Me? Yeah. Ooh. What did I say? Because you said I couldn't handle a, a real woman. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shots have been fired on the storm side now. Yep, 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 no, yep. No, no offense uh. to. To Mrs. Mad Mardigan, you know. Oh no 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 no! But no, 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 no. we're not, we're not we're touching that. Not but we know who but, wears the pants in that relationship. That's why I said that, you know. Oh, I barely skated by on my last comment. <laughs> You're tempting me here. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all good. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> we know. I, Barely skated by on that one. Why are you trying to? You're setting me up. I'm, can no, we move on? not at all. I just, <laughs> what I about just Adam's stayed, like the hoodie? Can we talk about that? I was just stating facts. <laughs> I just you know, wearing pants, man. Right now. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what he said, and I don't think I want to. You don't. So. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, I don't think I want to. So hold on, hold on. <laughs> yep, that's blowing my ears. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, aneurysm. Uh, uh, it's happening. But uh... damn, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think since we got time, um, let's. Oh, you want to hear about it. the cock in the grass? Let's do it. Oh God. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't know why you gotta poke the bear. Oh, really? Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> all right. So, little background on this, right? Uh, it was uh, 2006. I was in Iraq. Uh, the Civil War was getting between the Sunni and the Shiite was heating up. Uh, Pickford, Sicily, of, 1912. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they were they were really more interested in killing each other than they were us. Um, for like, uh, well, not all the time. Obviously, I got blown up, but. Here and there. Um, so along the way, that there there is a um, there's checkpoints that you hit. Some of them are, are guarded by Iraqi police or national police, whatever. Right. One of these checkpoints, uh, five four four, would be hit constantly by um, uh, suicide v bids, um, vehicle borne IEDs, uh, car bombs. Right. They would drive uh -huh. up, you know, and only oh, you know, the shit out of that checkpoint. It got uh -huh. so bad to where nobody would even go there anymore. Like they just stopped manning it. Mm -hmm. One night we're out doing something completely unrelated and somebody hadn't received that email yet that they weren't going to be there. And so he drove up, blew himself up uh, for nothing. <laughs> so we go out to check it out. And um, <laughs> it's me and uh, I, staff Sergeant, uh, Sergeant C and w walking in the ditch uh, and <laughs> He's a black guy. It's not. It's not racist. It's part of the story. So he's black. We're walking in the in the ditch, Could and then contact. he gets yeah, he gets stops, and I look back, and he is white, like white as me. And I'm like, Sergeant C, what the fuck's wrong with you? He goes, There's a cock <laughs> by my foot, 
I'm like, what? He goes, there's a goddamn cock in the grass, and it's right next to my fucking foot. <laughs> <laughs> I look over, I put my, my surefire on it, and sure as shit, there is a burnt cock, severed, just laying in the grass. There's... I assume it was severed, there was not a whole yeah, body yeah, yeah, yeah. of that cock. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of like I assless know. Jeff, yeah, okay. Um, that's all we found of the guy. We found, I mean, we didn't look that hard, but we didn't find anything else of this dude. Just as cock. Anyway, so I'm like, I'm like, hey, LT, you gotta come over here. Now, our lieutenant, our platoon, uh, our platoon leader, uh, we called him Frank the Tank. Um, he he was an interesting guy. Uh, he was a little excitable. One time he was in the Bradley, right? And he's standing up in the turret, and we're in the field, we're at hood, and at some point, the, the hatch behind him fell and trapped him up against the thing. And the CV, this, the, uh, the CDC, the, the headset came unplugged. Mm-hmm. So he, could, he couldn't talk to anyone. And they can't hear him over the vehicle. And his gunner was like, hey, uh, LT, like, I don't know how long later, but he's like, hey, uh, LT, hey. And he looks up and all he sees is two feet kicking like this. And they have no <laughs> idea how long he's been up there. <laughs> this. This guy put his M4 somewhere in the turret, and when they turned it, it bent the barrel. And he oh, took shit. it to the mechanics and like, hey, uh, you know what, y'all can fix this? They're like, no. <laughs> we can't, no. You had to pay for it. So that's Frank the Tank. That's <laughs> So I'm like, hey, LT, you're going to have to come over here, man. And he comes over, and he goes, holy shit, and just swipes it barehanded. He goes, <laughs> hey, guys, look what the fuck I found. <laughs> Like, well, I mean, technically you didn't find it, but okay. He's like, somebody bring me a bag. Claudius is going to love this. Claudius is the first name. This is officers do this all the time. They call each other by their first name, but he's our commander. He's our, he is our captain, Captain Robert. I don't want to give away his whole name, but anyway, uh-huh. so somebody brings him like a, a Ziploc bag and he throws the cock into the bag and he's like, oh yeah, Claudius is going to love this. And we're like, hey, sir. <laughs> You think it's a good idea to bring back this penis to uh, our CO, our commanding officer? He's like, yeah, yeah, trust me, guys. Trust me. I know Claudius, and Claudius loves dick. I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> so we go back. Like, we did the rest of our shit that night. We get back to our fob, right? We're at Falcon, if anybody knows where that is. Um, we get back to our, our fob. And we didn't do, we didn't refill the vehicles. We didn't unload anything. We all ran into the building and we just lined the hallway. Wait, <laughs> to be laughing. I'm sorry. Laughing. So Frank, the tank comes just bouncing down the hallway. Just so excited with this penis in his hand, just swinging by. And he go, by the way, it's like three 30 in the morning. <laughs> this isn't in the, it's three 30 in the morning. Uh-huh. And he, he starts knocking on the captain's door. And he opens the door and he's like rubbing sleep out of his eyes. He's like, what is it, Frank? And he goes, look what the fuck I found. And the CO looks looks at the cock, looks at Frank, looks at the clock, cock looks at Frank. He's like, get the fuck in here. It's like an old fight commercial. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Call, calls him into the room, right? And we just hear like this look muffled. Back at me. <laughs> we just hear like a muffled screaming. And... um. It woke up our pl- our platoon sergeant, so he comes out. He just got off the trail. Uh, he he just got done being a drill sergeant before he came to us. He comes up, so he's like really drill sergeant e. You know, he's like, "What are you?" He goes, "What are you, uh, Otis Punk Myers, motherfuckers, doing out here?" And we're like, "Well, let's tell you." And so we explain to him what happened, and he's like, "Motherfucking white people!" I swear. To <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so the door <laughs> opens, and Frank comes out, and now it's just hanging down by his side, and he's. <laughs> His lip is all the way out. He's we're like, hey, LT, what did he say? He said, I gotta get rid of it. And our platoon was like, no motherfucking shit. He told you you gotta get rid of it. What the fuck you think he was gonna do? Let you take it home and put it up on your mantle? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, frame it, engrave it. Right. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> we told oh. that story to everyone. Like it was such a great <sighs> story. And it spread. It spread to the point that years later, when I was a cop. And uh, one of the guys I went to um, when I went, I went to the academy with, right? I told him the story. We get back. He had he was still in the National Guard, had to go do some shit. Comes back to work. 
he worked morning, I worked night. We met up in that morning. He's like, hey, hey, man, hey, uh, mad. He's like, I got to tell you, um, like, I loved your cock in the grass story. I really did. I didn't believe it, but I loved it. He goes, <laughs> he goes, but, he goes but I was at drill this weekend, and I'm just bullshitting with the guy. And the guy's like, hey, man. Like he starts telling me this story about these fourth ID guys in Baghdad that found this cock in the grass and his LT. <laughs> and, and, and he was like, and I stopped him. I was like, I know that guy. I know that guy. I actually have uh, it's verified. I, I have. Was all my, my cousin in the, in the Marines. He found that cock in the grass. <laughs> Road Black said, it's a cock in a bag. <laughs> You found That's a cock hilarious. in the back. My son, I like you. You oh come home gosh. and fuck my sister. <laughs> That's the that's a cock in the grass story, man. It's one of the better ones. Oh my god, that's hilarious. By the way, that's I I did funny. not add anything to that. Like that is how it happened. It's such a good story. You don't have to add anything to it. Just play it out. It's funny because I would have said the same thing. How'd I come in there and you guys told me a story out of him? That's oh some white God. people <laughs> shit, bro. That's a white yeah. People. It's, it's, oh man. Fucking funny. I don't I don't know what, what he was even thinking, dude. We tried to tell him we're like, this is not a good idea for like so many reasons. This is not a good idea. Somebody may be looking for it. Like, we don't we don't know where Somebody. he is. <laughs> well, we don't know where he is. <laughs> right, At most, you know, two people are looking for it. Maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who would be the second person? The wife. <laughs> oh, he's like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, anyway, so that's what happens if you don't send in super chats. <laughs> now, I got more too. We get, uh, we get burnt cocks in the Every time you don't send in a, in a super chat, we get burnt cocks in the grass. I think one a stream. These is are good. facts. <laughs> one a stream is good, but that is hilarious. That is classic. <laughs> oh my lord! There's a cock next to my foot. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I tell you, I I'm not built like that. There's no. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's 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 weird man like when you're there every is feels normal almost like everything that happened you know what i mean like everything oh, over i mean i'm sure for anzo it is normal i'm sure he has his cock dangling by his feet but <laughs> it's the, like the way three, he freaking describes it <laughs> it's like three inches off the ground but you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh when we get off the stream i'll teach you a trick with uh with a hairband no, I'm good. <laughs> can, can we can we start talking about Street Fighter again? I mean, Dragon Ball Evolution. Huh? Let's can we talk about that. Uh, can, you got me, okay? I, let's talk about that. Um, Goku in high school. Yeah. No. Anything? No, no. I mean, Rob anything. Would to, I mean, I know Rob would love to talk about that, but yeah, he actually liked it. Eh? He liked it. Yeah. Watch God. what. Like, like, oh, where's the time go? I just got here. Okay, and, and I'll have you know, him liking that movie, that's the only reason me, me and him met and we are friends. Because you uh, liked it too, right? No, I didn't. Okay, mm -hmm. but when he released his re original review of it, um, there within literally a week, there were like 40 videos on YouTube just lambasting his review of it. Oh, the Parasite? Imagine. No, no, Imagine. this was Dragon Ball Evolution, dude. This was back in uh, 2009. Oh, really? Okay, oh, yeah. Shit. This is back Man, to the storm thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I did a video. Like I'd only made like one or two videos at that point, but I was a fan, so I made a video, uh, fucking defending him, and that's how me and him met. Mm. Okay, so. Yeah, no, he he can't catch a break, man. For no, real. He, he can't. No, <laughs> that man cannot have an opinion without a blowing up. His oh my god, I feel horrible. For him, but yeah, it's true. But that's now like, um. I don't know if it was Anzo, Danny, it was probably both of them. Like they were talking about going on to Rob Storm. I'm like, who's that? And they're like, oh, just Google Parasite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't find him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I spent like, I don't know, man, like 45 minutes, like, damn, Don Cheadle is coming at this guy. Mm -hmm. What the? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to throw in the 10-minute warning. Okay. Cool. Um, so if you guys in the chat, you got anything else you want to send us, okay, just um, now's your chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, man. I, yeah, he – that they ripped him up on that Parasite video, man. I mean, I was in a lot of – because by this time, I was streaming with Rob, you know, and I understood, and they were calling him racist yeah. and all kinds of things. So I was in those comments just like, fuck you guys. You don't know what yeah. you're talking about. And, like well, you, mean, don't know, so you don't know him as a person, you know, like mm -hmm. you guys. By the way, those are the same people that if they ever come over to my channel, uh, Don Cheetah would not like any of my content. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably At least it was not. Jason Boy he said that said some of the. Oh like, no! Did you give Hotel that. Rwanda a bad review? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but Jason Boy he did talk about immigration. Uh, oh yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Um, let, uh, I'm gonna say Hotel Rwanda was really good though. It was never seen it. No? It was a great movie. Yeah. No, it was a really good movie. Nah, man. There's a scene in that movie, man, where they're driving and it's just the road just starts to get bumpy. Do 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 do. Like what the fuck? And then they look down and it's, they're just driving over a bunch of dead bodies, man. I was like, holy shit! Yeah. Oh, real quick, this is uh something that y'all would normally cover. Did you hear about the? The whole uh, Brad Pitt and Charles Libby and their no. beef on Fury. No. Yeah, Libby? yeah. So, yeah. So Charles Libby was like cuckoo bananas on there, anyways. Like he cut his own face, uh, so because the makeup wasn't good enough for him, and like he didn't. He wanted shower. the authenticity, so he actually put an O star yeah, on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? And, like he would yeah. open it up too, like during during filming, and yeah. um, he didn't shower. He wouldn't shower for days. Like he really got into his character. Apparently, him and Brad Pitt did not get along, and apparently, no one got along. And they there was a lot of fights, like physical, like fisticuffs on the set, and it was encouraged Damn. by the director. Oh, um, really? Yeah, Brad Pitt has never talked about it. Brad but they don't fucking play. <laughs> right? Yeah, when when Brad Pitt's asked about it, he's, he he always has the best things to say about Shia LaBeouf, but in a way like, oh, you really don't want to talk about him, do you? It's like this is a great mm -hmm. actor. You know, he really gets into his role. It's one of the best, yeah. yeah, yeah. Around, uh, no one's gonna ever keep, gonna him, keep down, him down. down. <laughs> that's yeah, that's exactly. crazy. I didn't yeah, know so, that. Yeah, I read that like yesterday or some shit. But uh, I like Shia LaBeouf. Like, oh, I do too. It depends. I, it, I, I think like, great. I got a little annoyed. Uh, I started. I got a little irritated of, of him constantly screaming Bumblebee, but. You know, oh, I know. Uh, aside from that, mm -hmm. you know, you see him in, like a serious role. He's fucking great. Yeah, like even Steven thought he was great. Agreed. Yeah, um, I've never seen that movie. It's a. It was a, a Disney show. TV show. It was. Oh. Like, it was like where he actually like got. Yeah. He broke out. Oh really? In that show, uh, even Steven's on Disney. Yeah. Watched Disturbia uh, a couple weeks ago. Still pretty good. Yeah, remake of Rear Window. It's pretty good. Yep. For a remake. Yep. Oh yeah, you're a movie guy, right? Um, yeah. Uh, oh shit! What was it? I just forgot it, man. Um, it, What's it about? It's a noir. Uh, has a one shot, and it starts with this beautiful one shot that gets the pulls all the way out. Um, oh, it's gonna kill me. I will find it in one Who's second. Uh huh. <laughs> you don't remember it? You don't remember you don't you don't it? There. I, I already, I already told you about that, bro. If you're gonna mention something, you know what you're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, um, uh, Touch of Evil. Sorry, that was it. Touch of Evil from 1958. Nope, Never nobody. Cool. It, honestly, no. Uh, at least it. watch like the first four minutes because it has this amazing one shot, like. It starts like zoomed in on a on a bomb, and it comes out, goes all the way up, follows a vehicle all the way around, mm -hmm. tracks two different couples, but never with with no cuts. And just for like four minutes, it's it, and there's people all on the streets. It's so yeah. well done. This is 1958. All right, well, amazing. Orson Came in. Yeah, Orson Welles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But uh, Amazing Webhead came in with Dollar Nine Super Chat. Heard Sony will show a teaser for Spidey 3 in December. Did they even start filming? I don't think so. No. Then how the hell are they going to show a teaser? So the teaser doesn't have to show Jack Squad of the actual film. Yeah, yeah it could be a lot of CGI with 
Spider-Man being Spider-Man and doing yeah. Spider-Man. It doesn't have to be that. It could be because the I guess the black item was a teaser as well, where they did the little CJ and the pictures thing. So I guess mm-hmm. if they're gonna do something like that, or maybe put out a poster or something, I guess you could yeah. just sit it out a teaser. Or it could be like 3D model, like Spider Man coming up on the screen very slowly while somebody's mm-hmm. like, Spider Man, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. What I don't know why Same I gave him an Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing we do every night, Ned. Ned. Yeah. <laughs> Cole said they started filming like next week or something. Oh, okay. Or they started today, really? Oh, all right. That's okay. interesting. Wait, what came out 42 minutes ago? Oh, that they were going to show the teaser, probably. Oh. Okay. I don't believe it unless it's been out for at least two hours. <laughs> <laughs> because it can get retracted so quickly. That's actually true. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Let's see. Start shooting. Mm. You got something? Anzu, I cannot figure you out. Dude, like, I just noticed you have a Yankee hat on. Yes. You live in Toronto. You're a Spurs fan. No, 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 no. Steelers fan. I live in Montreal, not Toronto. The same thing. Same no, thing. Is it? Definitely. Is not. it on the other side of the border? It's all the same. <laughs> it's cold and they speak I mean, French right sometimes. Montreal instead of start shooting. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway. Keep like, going. No, what were you saying? Keep going. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen. So he lives in Montreal, Montreal. Montreal, and he's a Spurs fan from San Antonio, Steelers mm-hmm. fan from Pittsburgh, and a Yankees fan from New York. No, 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 no. I'm a Spurs and Steelers fan. The Yankees is just because I match my hats with my clothes. Yeah, yeah. The, the Yankees thing is a color scheme. That's it. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I asked him about I'm this. Glad that you he's got a scheme. red one. He's got a black one. And his, the guy's right. a Skittle, New York. Yeah, it is. Right. You know, I, I'm so. glad you put scheme on that because I was really worried when it started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I match my hats with my clothes just like I match okay, my hats. Right. Hats with my shoes, you know. So let's take out the New York thing. Then it still does not make sense how you're a Steelers fan and a Spurs fan, but live in Montreal. Well, for one, I don't have an NFL team that I can actually cheer for, so I gotta adopt one. Happen yeah, to be Buffalo. The Steelers. Buffalo no, Bills. It actually, it, it, it adopt used, a real team like the Cowboys. It used to yeah, be the Cowboys. Sure. All right, sorry, I could I couldn't say that with a straight face. <laughs> it used to be the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Um, my dad was a Steelers fan, and then when he died, I took over his team. But there's a there's some personal stuff to that that I'll explain later on. But yeah, that's why. Wow. Like All the right. one defense of me being able to say anything shitty. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Just gonna take these off the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> wow. uh, shit. But you like you like hockey too, don't you? I hate hockey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate hockey. I hate hockey. I hate soccer. Just basketball, football. Not even the Mighty Duck movies. I like the movies. Okay. Yeah, the Flying D, cool. man. How do you hate hockey? Mm, not a hockey I'll fan. Cool, man. <laughs> It's fine. Like triple, I, I can triple deke, motherfucker. <laughs> I convince myself like once every three years. Like, hey, maybe I should try this N- NHL game on Xbox. And then I'm like, oh, that's right. I just like the fighting, and I have no idea what icing is. What's a blue line? Wait, why am I getting the trophy? <laughs> Wait, can I not I, do I, this? I mean, I could play some hockey. You know what I mean? I could play the game. I love playing the game. But yeah, to go and um watch it, no, not my sport. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't hit him in the in the face with the stick. What the fuck? They have to have the puck if I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> yes. There are, rules. There are actual me. rules. Yes, there are rules. <laughs> I get I got called for icing or offsides. I don't know. Was there one? What do you mean I can't take off my, my, my ice skate and stab this guy in the head? Right. Like <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Come on, ref. And then, like, every, after every single play, like, whenever the play stops, I'm always grabbing whoever's next to me trying to start a fight. 
That's only <laughs> chasing people around no, trying to wait, grab him. I, wait a minute. No, I just realized. I just realized something. I can't believe. I, okay, so you you just said, all right, he he's in Canada. <laughs> He's San Antonio Spurs fan, Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but he's in Canada, doesn't like hockey. Yeah. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. That's, what that, are that, you? That, <laughs> I, 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 I don't even figure him out. Like, the, the hockey thing you? was. When I first met him, I thought he had a Jamaican accent. You want to talk about confused. It's like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. I don't like, oh, come on. No, it, I'm it, not reared it, right it, near the beach, man. No, no my, my girlfriend everybody too, says like, that about. Yeah, my everybody says that about accent. How is this Jamaican living in Montreal? But <laughs> there's nothing adding up. Root for the Spurs and Steelers. <laughs> and he hates um, hockey. <laughs> there are a lot of Jamaicans in Montreal, just to let you know. And I grew up with a lot of them, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. All right. That's cool. I'm glad we finally reached the place where I can ask. No, I'm not touching that. Accent. I'm just not going to oh touch God. that. No. Okay. Touching. It's been bugging me like this whole time. I'm like <laughs> waiting on my opportunity to ask you. Like, so so uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, episode of Onzo Exposed. I'll be honest. Uh, I forgot uh, yeah, you were there. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like good. a fun program. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, we're going to end it here. Okay, uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. All right, uh, thank you three for joining. Okay, uh, please subscribe to their channels, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Peace. Rob Storm. No, Storm's live. Storm's live. Storm's live. Storm's live.